Welcome to Center of Mass Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, we want to, uh, we're given positive integers k and n, and we want to prove uh, we can find positive integers m1, m2, mk, such that 1 plus 2 to the k minus 1 over n equals uh, this product of fractions. 1 over 1 over 1 plus 1 over m1 plus times 1 plus 1 over m2, dot, 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 till 1 plus 1 over mk. So first, we're going to rewrite this a tiny bit. So multiplying by n and expanding out 2k minus 1, uh, we see we, this is the equivalent to wanting n plus 2 to the k minus 1 plus 2 to the k minus 2 da, 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 plus 1 equals n times this product on the right here. So this, uh, yeah, this has k, this is k terms. So uh, this might motivate us to look for a way where we can find each one, hm1, m2, da, 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 such that each one of those gives us one of these terms. So let's write the first note. Uh, let's say we have n times one plus one over n over two to the i, where we assume i is less than or equal to a one. That will give us n plus two the i, two the i. And this will be divisible by at least the power of 2 to the i. So it will definitely be divisible by 2 to the i minus 1. So if we say i equals a1. Note this will give us n plus 2 to the a1. And uh, in our initial, when we say n equals 2 to the a1 times b, we're assuming b is odd, so all the factors of 2 are out in front. So n plus 2 to the a1 gives us 2 to the a1 times 1 plus b. So 1 plus b is even, so that's divisible by at least 1 power of 2. So this is divisible by at least 2 to the a1 plus 1. So, uh, so we can proceed as follows. Uh, so let's say we want, let's say a1 is less than or equal to k1. Then we can keep multiplying 1 plus 1 over uh, n over 2 to the a1. And then 1 plus uh, 1 over, and then our new m will just be the previous product, so. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, M1 here will just be N over 2 to A1. Uh, M2 would be uh, N2 over to the a1 plus 1, uh, n3, etc. And so we can keep doing this until uh, we reach uh, the point where one of these is divisible by 2 to the k minus 1. And so uh, once we reach that, uh, then we can go down in powers. So then if we start at a1, then we can say our next one is nj uh, over to the uh, a1 minus 1 because it'll definitely be divisible by that, and then we can just keep going down, and that'll be our, uh, that'll, that'll be how we construct uh, these numbers. So, All right, so writing it out explicitly, uh, we can say n1 times 1 plus 2 to the k minus p, where we say k minus p equals a1, or k minus a1 equals p, so the difference between k and a1 is this integer p. So 1 plus 2 to the k minus p over n1 times 1 plus 2 to the k minus p plus 1 over n2. Uh, we're defining n1 and n2 recursively. And k equals nk minus 1 times 1 plus 1 over 8, 8 n k minus 1 or uh, 2 to the a k minus 1. Uh, 
Yeah. And so we can uh, proceed like this. Each one of these, so this will add uh, to the k minus p, to the k minus p plus one. This will add to the k minus one, and then we start going down. So we need to the k minus p minus one, and then we go all the way down to one. And so this adds uh, all of, all the powers of two from two to the k minus one down to one, and this sum is equal to two to the k minus one. Uh, and so this whole thing is added onto n one. That'll be our uh, what this simplifies to. Uh, and so yeah, and that's uh, and so by constructing these actual integers, uh, it shows that, that they exist, and so uh, and that completes the problem. Right. Thanks for watching. Please check out uh, centermath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.